Okay, here we go. We're going to put it on higher. Okay, so that's just on medium. And it looks like it's not igniting. You can see there. Just not going to ignite apparently. Oh, wait, no, it's got to go on high. That's right. Right, so high is what is just too much. Yeah. Right, so, okay, so if you lower it down, lower down the, uh, here we go. See, I'm setting it down to a lower setting here. Okay, so now it's actually filling it up. The more you close it, the faster it does it. So now what I'm doing is I'm starting it up and then as you can see it starts with a full tank or a full pressure what is wrong with this focus man okay so now I put it on step one that's the uh, low that's just half half power on one of the panels and there it just lit up okay and then the uh, the other modes, the other two modes are that that same panel being lit up all the way. So it's uh you know like when you get a single unit of these heaters, it's got two 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 heat settings, uh, about five thousand BTU and about I think ten thousand or something like that. And then uh, or or yeah, something close to that. And then if you get the uh, double unit like this one that I have here. It uh, is an 18,000 BTU, but the funny thing is you can't actually combine it. Uh, you can't, you can't, there's no, there's no four settings. In other words, it's only uh, low, medium, and high. Where low is one burner on the left on low. And then, and then uh, the next one is high, or, or medium rather on this, it will be high on the other unit. So really all the big unit is, is that's basically like... Uh, picture that being just the small regular one with the single tank and this is a bigger one where it's got two tanks you can put two one pound tanks on it and lift it up with one sturdy handle that alone is is actually good because you can still use it at these settings and then the 18,000 BTUs is just a bonus you know so because that uses it up very quickly um putting them both putting two heaters that high would run it at um let's see you got two pounds that's about 180,000 BTU eight uh and we've got eight eight uh 18,000 so figure 20 180 divided by 20 so that's like um is that what um 18 eight, uh, would it run um Okay, no, it would be about 10, 10 or 8 hours is what it would, um, uh, never mind, 90,000 is, is what's BTU in a one gallon of propane, that, that's irrelevant, if we're doing two one pound canisters, okay, and you're gonna do that, then you have to go completely different, okay, so we've got eight, 18,000 BTU max, let's just, uh, stick with one of these 10,000, just the one on medium, now, I actually use low, which is like 4,500 BTU, and it's just fine in a small room, but uh, but if you uh, need that extra panel over there, then you can really, you know, bring up the heat really quick, which might be what you need very badly if you're out outside or if the power went out or if you're coming in from really cold, uh, you know, let's say you're... You didn't put your gloves on or you got, let's say you got soaked, right? Let's say you're in really bad shape. You got almost frostbite. You come inside and you want to just really start this thing on. And you're willing to spend an extra, a little bit extra gas to, to run it for five minutes. Uh, consuming at double the rate. Okay, because like I said, it's 18,000 BTU. When it's running both of these panels, let me just, uh, let me just show it. Like, well, all I did was, I, I, instead of using a regulator, this is a regulator, by the way. I always use that. So what I did here was, why is it not focusing? Okay. So I'm just going to open it. There we go. See? So what I did, I just used that valve as like a little regulator. So it was teasing this thing. So now, let's see. If we put it on properly, now the other one lights up. 
and it's no problem. So, uh, right. So when you got a tank like that, it's it's a, a completely different deal than. And uh, you know, there's another option right there. You can see the. There's supposed to be a fuel gauge there. Um, it is. It, it is. Um, actually, I, why don't I just show, demonstrate here? This is this is how this works. Not everybody's seen these things, so I might as well show. Okay, so uh, I'm making sure not to get it wet on the carpet with the kerosene. So this is the little uh, window here. All right. So anyway, <clears throat> here we go. So this is the kerosene. Uh, let me just. Here's the can. Okay, it's got a nice. I just replaced this actually. This is a 1980s make from Japan, back when they made them really good, like bulletproof. And this little uh, that little push button there. I don't know if you can see it. That push button there. It closes the um, the seal so that the fuel can't come out. And uh, that's to keep you from losing the uh, the lid, or actually dropping it into like dirt and stuff. I'm gonna keep it really clean and tight. So now you see it's it's a spring loaded, and I got a new one because the other one was leaking. Let's see if this one leaks. Okay, uh, checking for leaks here. I don't see any. Nope. Okay. So now here is the uh, the fuel gauge. And I brought a headlight I'm wearing so you can see it. And you can see that red that red fuel. Okay, now if I pull it backwards, you won't see it anymore because it's not up against there. See, there it is. You can see it. It's because I'm tilting it at an angle. So when it's level, you can actually see where your, uh, where your fuel is. So, you know, you could actually tell by going like that. Okay, it looks like it's almost there. And then if you were to peek into that hole there and see that it's a little low, that means, you know, you want to check it. But, uh, it, 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 you know, you can always just lift it up like I just did. You know, just pop that up and, and feel the weight of it. And But yeah, it is nice to have that as a convenient thing. It's nice that they put that in there. And this is the, uh, the, um, the scale for the propane. And uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Oh yeah, so that's just... Okay, I, I did something with this wick. This wick was a real... Real problem. Uh, something happened with this wick. Yeah, you see that? It got all um, it got all cut off. We gotta edit this and, and do some better videos. But look at that. You see? That that was tough. Tough to do. I tried cutting cutting some off with the scissors, and um, obviously, you know, I'd have to just take it all apart. Now, here, check this out. See, that, that's uh that's the new um element i got for it but uh okay so now it's it's all focused on here i don't know if you can see how bright that is i've got this uh this little headlight here uh yeah you can see it's flashing and it's got a motion sensor on there let me uh hook that up so you can see uh see if that works okay so yeah just by going like this it turns it on and off about, I don't know, I'd say five, six, seven, eight inches away. Now, obviously, you can't go like that because then it'll just go like back. And, like, So you got to go like that. Now, sometimes if you're walking close to a wall or if you're working under a car and, you know, you don't want to use that, that feature. Um, let's see. Now, the other thing I wanted to see was, uh, yeah, the lower. Yeah, this one here. Yeah, look at this. See, it pulses the lights and you can really see that. Okay, we're out of time. Yeah.